So as we all know guys, hacking and exploiting is a pretty big problem on Roblox. Now before we get into this video, I just want to say, for me personally, I've got no issues with people hacking in their own games or VIP servers. If they want to test certain things or experiment with scripts, or just mess about on one of those Roblox base plate games with their friends. In my view, that's fine, as long as they don't bother anyone else. So you know, if they want to test out their hacks or whatever without ruining anyone else's game, I can't see a big issue. I guess Roblox themselves, obviously the Roblox admins, would be annoyed at people using exploits in the first place, but Roblox don't employ me, so yeah, I don't have anything to do with that. But I've got to be honest, it does become a serious problem when hackers start using their hacks or exploits in public servers to bother other people, or bully them, or simply ruin their fun. That kind of stuff is terrible, please don't be doing that guys. Anyone that uses exploits with destructive intentions to affect people's gameplay, or you know, just bully someone inside of the game like teleporting to them, those types of people are losers. I really dislike people that do this kind of stuff. And that brings us on to today's video. People using exploits on Roblox has always been a problem, literally ever since 2009, maybe even earlier. But recently, I'd say in the past three years at least, it's gotten a lot worse. It's got to a point now guys, where exploiting in Roblox games is like causing a serious issue. So many games I play these days have some weird hackers in it, just simply taking the fun away from everyone else. And I'm sure most of you guys can relate to this, switching servers every 20 minutes because of hackers is just simply irritating. And from a YouTuber's perspective, because well yeah, I am one, it's even worse. Yeah, believe it or not, a lot of us YouTubers have to put up with a lot of dodgy weird exploiters. Like this guy for an example that joined me the other week. He just joined and he was saying Sharkbox is a loser, he was trying to hack on the game, he was saying like I knew who he was or something, Mackenzie Devin 14 I don't know if this guy's watching the video, but he was telling me I was acting like a 10 year old, like seriously, this guy was just acting like a complete idiot, like there's just no reason to be like that. Also he joined me on my alt account, he had some crazy obsession with me knowing who he was, but I've got no idea who this is. Like I said guys, people that do this kind of stuff, they're just losers. So this kind of stuff is annoying for players, it's annoying for YouTubers, and for developers it must be even more annoying. Could you imagine people trying to hack on your game, your own game that you spent time on, you spent money building it? Then suddenly hackers join, they get free abilities, they make players leave the server and quit, they ruin the game, they cause issues. For devs right, exploiters and hackers are like their number one enemy. And one developer, who we are going to be talking about today, simply had enough. So this here is a video from Alex, well it's actually a tweet. He said, one of my friends discovered that running Synapse X in ERLC will create over 20,000 files on your computer. I was told this was a crime. So let me explain what's going on. ERLC C stands for Emergency Response Liberty County. If you guys don't know what this is, it's like a role-playing Roblox game. It's kind of like this whole policing community. I think you can choose different roles, just like a civilian or like a criminal or like a cop or something. It's pretty cool. These games are very well made. This one is very popular. A lot of people love it. As we can see right now, it's got 12,000 people online. Like this is one popular Roblox game. Now there was a bit of a problem with this game. So many hackers were just ruining it. They were flying around the map, killing players, spawning in vehicles, just causing absolute chaos. And the developer of this game simply had enough. So what he ended up doing here, everyone which opens this sort of like hacking software, whatever it is, there's videos about this thing all over YouTube. I'm not going to get into it. I don't really like promoting this kind of stuff. But whenever a hacker would open their software, basically their PC would get flooded with files. Yeah, take a look at this, right? So this thing would pop up. I'll show you guys this message in detail in a second. Then suddenly loads of files would start going onto their PC and it was literally like filling up their computer. Like honestly guys, stuff like this is insane. Here we are, so Alex said, I was also sent this screenshot. I would like to add some new information. The amount of files it creates depends on how long you have the Roblox window open. In this case, it means it created 20 files before he closed Roblox. The size of each text file means it quickly makes gigabytes and gigabytes of files. So this guy's PC just got full up of files for playing this game while trying to run exploits. And the developer found a backdoor in the exploit software and that's how he was able to do this. So as Max was saying here, the good old Uno reverse card, literally, like, they just turned the tables there. The hackers, well, they got hacked. Now what makes this situation even more crazy is this came with a warning message. Look at this, warning, warning, warning. Exploiting is in a violation of the Roblox Terms of Service. It is also a crime in your place of residence. And on the subject of places of residence, they forwarded his information to the police. Like, what the heck? IP address, location, like, this is some actually next level insane stuff. And it was also 
a fine of £10,000 in jail time. I don't think anyone's getting a jail time over Roblox. That's a bit bonkers. Honestly, I think this stuff is mostly an empty threat, but apparently this info was real, so that is a bit concerning. A lot of people are saying the dev behind this game should not have done this because technically this is like against the Computer Misuse Act. You know, you're not really supposed to get revenge on people like this. But in a way, guys, I can't really blame him. He just got so fed up with people trying to ruin his game with these stupid hacks. He just lost it and came up with an idea of how to get revenge. And I've got to give it to him. This was incredibly smart. So there we have it. That's the whole situation summed up in a few minutes. If we can take away anything from this video, probably don't hack on Roblox. It's pointless. It's not really fun. You ruin the gaming experience for anyone else and it gets boring quickly. So it's probably just not even worth doing. If you guys found this video interesting, leave a like, subscribe. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.